Hello everybody, and uh, up with me on our next session is Shai Datika from INX. Hi Shai, welcome, how are you? Hi, very good, thank you. Good morning everyone, or good afternoon, wherever you are. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. Uh, we have a very nice event going on full of people and uh, they're all eager to hear about your tremendous success with INX. Um, you know, maybe in short, start with an introduction, a bit about yourself, a bit about INX, and then we'll start. Uh, myself, I'm uh, coming from uh, almost uh, three decades in the traditional financial market. I've traded like every asset uh, there is to trade. Uh, in the past uh, 10, 15 years, I'm uh, more on the uh, FinTech technology side, trying to combine all the experience and expertise from uh, my uh, background on the technology, regulation, trading, and what I've tried to do is to bring everything into this tremendous new world of blockchain. Thanks for that. And, and you know, Shai, INX achievement so far is really tremendous. I mean, you're closing your IPO process uh, in two days, right? Yeah, and on, the, on the 22nd. So it's both an equity round in Canada and a token round in the US market. Uh, tell us a bit about it and how did it all start, thinking about uh, going public in the SEC uh, with this kind of platform. Tell us about it. Um, the idea came to my mind on uh, 2017 when we saw the big, uh, uh, me and I'm sorry, I apologize for maybe someone which don't agree with me, uh, doesn't agree with me, but for me it was like a bubble because when you raise funds from the public, and I'm not buying this uh, Reg D or accredited investors uh, bullshit. Uh, it has to be under regulation. For me, it was obvious in 2017 that this is going to be the next evolution of the financial market. It's not going to be a billion dollar market. It's going to be a trillion dollar market. And if this is what we believe, and if we believe that my grandmother, she passed away, but my children and, you know, a grandmother from Oklahoma, will be part of this game, regulation is a must. You cannot raise money, billions of dollars from the public and to show them two papers of uh, white paper or something like this. It has to be under full regulation, full disclosure to investors, to clients, and of course to the regulation. So this is the idea behind INEX. This is what we wanted to achieve. So we went to the SEC and told them, we want to do a regulated ICO. I called it RCO, regulated coin offering. And on 2017, we met the SEC, and they, say, they said something like, you are weird, but it's not weird. And we said, look, we are here to work together with you. There is no book. There are no procedures. Nobody knows how to do that. But together with you, with all your help, with your guidance, we are willing to do that. We thought that it's going to be one year. Eventually, it took almost three years. But we have a book. We have a 430 pages of book that everyone to follow us can read this book and to do the same and to go with a security token offering. And mm -hmm. this book, if I may, and I have uh, um, this is a guidance because we created a new financial tool. Look, it's not an equity because the token holders, they don't have uh, voting rights or um, sit in the board. On, on the other side, it's not debts because it's unsecure liability. We have to pay them back to pay uh, in service, in the token valuation in service. So it's like a new financial tool, tool that was not there before. So we needed to define the, the, the financial tool in the financial statement. We needed to evaluate the value of this new tool and how to write it in the financial statement. Uh, mm -hmm. And we went all the way together with EY Israel and EY National and we did it. So, you know, to put it in financial statement, to evaluate the, 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 how, the, how do you decide the value of, this, uh, of those tokens. And we decided to give all the token holders, it's a contra contractual right. It's not like, the, it's not something that we can change on the board decision. We are giving them 40% of the company profits mandatory yearly dividend. It's not a real dividend, it's a cash dividend, but it's a yearly... So it's uh, like an equity token, actually. 
It's a yearly distribution of the profit. We cannot change it. We have, to, we have created 200 million tokens. That's it. Not one more. We cannot change it. This is a contract between the company and the token holders. The token holders, they have, um, uh, uh, they have rights of uh, in liquidation uh, uh, situation. So the SEC, they were uh, very, very uh, sensitive on the rights of the token uh, holders. And for mm -hmm. an example, you know, KYC, AML, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Everybody are saying that those won't. But this is really, you cannot register to our platform, to our uh, uh, ether scan without going through KYC AML. It means that if you, Neil, have one INEX token, we know who you are, where mm -hmm. your money came exactly from. Exactly like a shareholder. Exactly like a shareholder. And for benefit, if you lose your token, we will delete it, we will give mm -hmm. you a new one. Same like transfer agent in the US. Mm -hmm. If someone steal your token, if someone hack your computer and steal your token, what can you do? He has to transfer this token only to a registered wallet on our registrar. It means that if someone steal the token from you, we know exactly who he is because we know the number of the token and to, to where it goes. Um, and Which I those, think, just, just to, to have a better understanding of this, of course we saw that the, the achievement you've made I mean, you're almost coming up to $100 million, right, in, in your current race, which is an, a great achievement uh, um, for, for, the, for this space, especially for this space. Uh, but tell us a bit maybe about the challenges. You said that it, uh, you, mentioned, you mentioned it taking one year and it took three years instead of that. Uh, so, you know, now that you're living a clearer path to the ones that are coming uh, after you, Share with us the biggest challenges and the ways you overcame these challenges. This is also interesting to understand. Yes, uh, as you said, we are uh, we have started and we accomplished uh, on the way to accomplish in the next week or so uh, uh, two ongoing uh, parallel uh, offering. One in Canada of the equity and the other one uh, tokens in the U.S. As you said, both of them together almost one hundred million dollars. Uh, I think the main ch challenge was to uh convinced the sec and you know we went through all the different committees and i said once i feel like the uh guy at the door the entrance of the building has already know and read the uh, papers the prospectus um yes it was a very painful uh, uh process and i think the main challenge was to uh convince the sec uh that um a, a, a blockchain and, uh, and uh, um, digital assets are going to control the world. And the, we saw the chairman of the SEC, um, uh, the, the, the former chairman of the SEC, a day before he left four months ago, he said that he believes that all the financial instruments, including equities that traded on NASDAQ, are going to move to the blockchain. We saw four months ago the CBDC issuing a report you know, the seven biggest uh, uh, central banks in the world, includes, including the Fed and uh, the ECB, uh, saying that they believe in five years, we will see digital dollar and digital euro. So everything is, will go to the blockchain. And I think this was the main challenge, to convince the world that everything is moving over there. Just to remind you, we have a smartphone. 15 years old, we didn't have a smartphone. We had Nokia. People said, yeah, maybe, we don't know. A little bit uh, Nokia, a little bit uh, Apple. No, they, they are, there is no Nokia today. Only smartphone. Smartphone, this is what we believe. In five years, only blockchain. Everything will move to the blockchain. It's not necessarily that everything will be uh, uh, digital assets and uh, tokenization of assets, but Apple share will be traded on the blockchain. So I think this is the main challenge. The second challenge is to build a fully related platform. You know, to build a, a trading and matching engine to trade between a clients and with all the respect, Binance, all the respect, well done, Coin, Coinbase, well done. Mm -hmm. But not all of them, Coinbase today they are, but Binance they are not regulated. But to build a fully regulated platform, well, uh, when you have an execution for a client, this is the best, best offer or best execution best effort or best ex execution uh, mm -hmm. fully support both to the clients and to the regulator to have segregated account for clients fund this is important 
So on one side, we want the process of regulation of the token, and on the other side, with the regulation of the platform. And today, we have the licenses. We call it money for the license in order to be able to trade uh, digital currencies like uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other utility uh, tokens. And we have the broker dealer with a special uh, uh, license to list and trade all different of security tokens. So we can trade INEX token and Telegram if they, you know, in the past would have would have decided to go with listing their token with the SEC. They could have listed the token on our platform, and this is the future. And we are planning in the next in the next uh, coming uh, month to file to the CFTC in order to be able to trade all different type of, type of derivatives. So mm -hmm. the vision is to build a one big marketplace, utility token, security tokens, and their derivatives. That's exactly what I wanted to ask you before we're wrapping this up because we are almost out of time, but I, I see where you're heading with the vision and where the future is taking you. And you're talking about a multi-currency platform that will allow you to trade and enjoy different benefits of crypto and blockchain, uh, and everything will be regulated. So, uh, yeah. uh, Shai, thank you very much for being with us today and sharing with us your path and your entrepreneurial spirit, and uh, encouraging everybody in the audience, I'm sure of that, uh, to go after you in the uh, in the way you uh, you left and uh, very inspiring. So, thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much, here. and uh, you know, sometimes people ask me, what if uh, they'll copy you? They will do, guys. S at inx.co. This is my email. Anyone who has any question, you want to go through the SEC process, you want us to put you in contact with the lawyers, legal, whatever, call me. We will help you. Want it to be the next stage of the capital market. Thank you very much. I am encouraging you all to contact Chai over here in the chat component inside Hermit. Thank you, Chai. See you next day. Thank you so much. Have a good day, everyone. Bye bye.